in today's lesson 2 about data visualization with Tableau we'll learn how to create a stacked bar chart. The stacked bar charts are usually used to show the relative effect of two or more measures or factors. A stacked bar chart could be created on various dimensions such as product category or time. In this lesson we'll create a stacked bar charts on sales and profit on the basis of product subcategory. To do that we'll need to go to Tableau. From Tableau we connect to the data and there's an Excel data that we are using which is Superstore data set. Once we bring in the data, we use the orders data sheet. Once order data sheet is loaded, we go to that specific sheet. Then we have dimensions here. These are the several different dimensions and the measures categories are here. So what we'll do, we'll drag and drop product subcategory into columns and cells into rows. Then we'll basically bring profit next to sales. So let's put profit below sales. Okay, let's bring it over here again. So sales and then profit and we are going to pick these multi-bar charts. So that shows profits are in yellow color and sales are in blue. So we could actually change this formatting. So we go there, uh, I'll choose Times New Roman and keep font size 9 and make them bold so it's a little more visible so once we are done with that this is not bad you can see we can compare the sales and the profit so here it looks like sales is higher and profit is higher but in this case sales is higher but profit is not as high so these charts basically helps us to compare two different similar effects for a business in this case. So now we are going to create a stack bar chart. To do that we are going to bring measure names and drop it into color. Then you can see we have created a stack bar chart where in the same bar we have both profit and sales for easy comparison as for example in this case profit is 297,000 for sales amount of 1.1 million similarly profit is 168,000 only for sales amount of 1.2 millions so Barcher's stack bar charts specifically helps us to see the ratio of profit to sales in this case. Next we are going to bring uh, three different filters. First we are going to choose order date and drop it up here and we are going to choose range of dates. Next keep it same apply ok then we are going to bring the next one is customer segment customer segment is here and we are going to keep all of them apply ok and the last one is region. Region is here. 
all apply okay after we included the sliders we can basically pick specific regions as for example in this case if we look at region 1 which is central compared to region 3 which is south looks like profit goes below a lot lower compared to other regions similarly we can play with customer segment for consumer and then you can see for consumers office machines is negative profit but for other categories like it corporate or let's say home office office machines has more profit compared to, to tables and other categories where we are incurring loss similarly as we looked at lesson one we can also play around with time and we can see over time if specifically in the later years if profit is increasing or decreasing for a specific product subcategory so again <coughs> the stick bar chart is usually used to compare the relative performance of two different factors that are same in nature. Thanks for watching. I will talk about area graph which is also an interesting graph in our next lesson, lesson 3. So see you then. Bye now.